Hello cookbook friends and welcome to the Cookbook Divas YouTube channel. My name is Katie and I am going to be looking through the unofficial Disney Parks drink recipe book. This is by Ashley Craft. I'm really excited because on my birthday one of my friends did a really awesome thing for me and made, I'm trying to remember what they're called, they're like, they're not dolmas, I keep thinking dolmas, they're uh, Dolma, Dole Whips, Dole Whips, uh, and they are super good. If you haven't had them, they're usually at a Disney park, and they're like whipped pineapple creamy ice cream, and it's super good. She put them on top of margaritas, actually, and they were just fantastic. It made a margarita just out of this world. Wonderful. So in this book, if you're somebody that loves Disneyland or Disney World or anything Disney Park, and there's been stuff that you've tried, you might be able to find this in find it in this cookbook. So let's look through the table of contents first. Um, let's see, we have oh, all right, table of contents right here. So part one is Disney Park Drinks 101, and then we have chapter one in part one is drinking around Disney. So that's like the history of Disney, creating your own Disney drinks. That's really cool. Um, chapter two from part one is the Disney Mixologist Essentials. So that means like making your own syrup. They have essential equipment. Um, let's see if they have any other cool stuff going on. They have like other mixers that you can potentially use. Lots of cool stuff. Salt, very cool. So then we go into part two, which is actually the drinks themselves. So that includes chapter three being lemonades and fruity drinks. Chapter four is slushies. Chapter five is coffee, tea, hot chocolate, and cider. Ooh, that's perfect for right now. And then we have um, mocktails, cocktails, and then lastly in chapter eight is dessert drinks. So that's super cool. Um, so let's kind of skip through a little bit so that we can get some pictures. The, so the essentials is really nice. They list everything off. They have cute little illustrations to kind of tell you exactly what you might need. You might even need a piping bag. That's cool. Um, there's all kinds of syrups, like I said. So let's look at the actual drinks. It's very hard. Ooh, okay. Lava smoothie. This looks super tasty. So one thing that's really cool about this book, especially if you're kind of a Disney file, is that it has at the very top the place that it actually comes from. So the lava smoothie comes from Leaping Horse Libations. This is from Disney's Boardwalk Villas. I, I'm not a super crazy, Di I haven't gone to Disney World in over a decade, I think over two decades. And then Disneyland, I haven't really gone by myself to explore and really soak it all in. And I, I actually don't know where Disney's Boardwalk Villa is at all. Um, but it does have here right below where you could get these re or where you can actually get these drinks. A little blurb on what this drink contains, flavor profiles, that kind of thing. Then on the left hand side, you have ingredients. Right hand side is your uh, instructions. So that's really cool. Let's move on. We have a moof juice. Oh my goodness, that's cute. Uh, this is from Docking Bay 7 Food and Cargo. This is a Star Wars movie drink. And I flipped through this a little bit by myself. And I did notice there's a lot of Star Wars drinks or like oriented drinks in this cookbook. I guess that's not a surprise. I'm sure they have some of the weirdest and most fun, quirky drinks. But that's just so you guys know. We have a popping yuzu lemonade. Oh, that would be so good. I'm all for that. So this is a East Asian citrus variety that looks like a wrinkling orange with juice that tastes like a mix of grapefruit and mandarin orange juice. Yum. So some of these recipes too, they come with a mix it up. So if you can't get some of these ingredients, if they're like yuzu, for instance, I think that's probably what they're talking about. Yep. Um, you can actually, they give you suggestions on things that you can actually substitute. So for instance, this, you can substitute it with uh, grapefruit juice and mandarin orange juice, half and half, and get kind of the similar flavor. So that's really nice that they give that to us so that everybody can enjoy this cookbook and it's not just one, you know, a small section of the population. 
So let's move on. Ooh, I'm sorry. This looked really cool. This is a Toy Daria swirl. And again, I'm seeing this is a Star Wars uh, Galaxy's Edge drink. Let's move on a little bit. Hot spiced apple cider. Yum. This is apparently served in the lobby at the uh, Disney's California. That's pretty fun. Uh, let's see. Ooh, round them up latte. It's got cookies in there. So I think it has cookies or ice cream, something. Yes, it's got animal crackers. Okay, so this is from Joffrey's Locations, Walt Disney World Resort. Ooh, okay. So... Some of these recipes have more, it's more than just drinks. Like you might have to bake something to put on the drink or make your own ice cream. And they have all of the ingredients and things that you would like, even a cookie recipe that you will put on here. The animal crackers, they just suggest you put like two animal crackers on there. It's not worth making a whole bunch of animal crackers, but there are some recipes where they do require you to make a whole thing of cookies. All right, so we've got Teddy's tea. This would be great during the summer. Yum. Winter hot chocolate, cute. It looks like these. Are, this is like a little Mickey ornament. That's so precious. I wonder if you can actually make the ornament itself. It says it's a Disney glow cube of Mickey. I wonder if we can find that. That's cute. So. So this is what I was talking about. This is the blue Bantha drink. Oh my God, this is decadent. So it has, you can make the Bantha cookie right here. Apparently you can't have the drink without the cookie. <laughs> this is probably one of the more complicated recipes in this cookbook. Most of them are very easy. Lot The ingredients are super easy to find. And this would just be really fun for kids too. Uh, yeah, because everything's so wild and fun. Let's move on. We have the peach comer. Again, very simplistic, easy. Here's a high tower rocks. Again, very simple, but it's elegant. It's very cool. Oh my goodness. Brooklyn blackout. Look at that. That's insane. This is a, um, it looks insane at least. It's like a huge milkshake. You have it, but it, but if you can see here, that doesn't require a whole lot of ingredients. That's in, That to me is crazy. I don't know how they're able to do this. I think, and then they don't provide the brownie recipe, but it sounds like you do need a brownie. This looks tasty. Oh my goodness. Some of these are just wild and crazy, and they're definitely like, okay, I'm craving something really sweet right now, and you only have it once. It's super good. Okay, so this is a Kakamora float. This looks really beautiful. I love the coloring. It's got blue, green, then it goes into yellow, and then a beautiful ice cream top or whipped top. That's so cool. And this is actually a cake pop, so you can learn how to make those. So this is a really fun cookbook. Um, if you've got kids and you guys go to Disneyland or Disney World or any of the Disney places often, this might be kind of fun to take home so it's like, you know, you can bring it home so you don't have to always go to Disneyland to experience these magical drinks. Not only that, I was thinking this might actually be a cool book to have if you have an Airbnb somewhere. If it's like close to California Adventure or it's down in Florida near Disney World, this might actually come in handy. It might be really fun if you have guests staying there and they wanted to make these, you know, unique drinks. This would be a cool book to have on hand and display with like, you know, your cocktail set or something like that. So yeah, definitely check this out. This is a fun gift. It's a great look through. This is the unofficial Disney Park drink recipe book. This is by Ashley Craft. If you guys want to check out more cookbooks, come check us out on, we have Instagram, Pinterest. We've got all of our other awesome YouTube videos that Carrie does. Uh, we have a podcast that we publish every Friday. So that includes all these cookbooks that are brand new that we find really interesting. Every single week, we bring those to you. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure to leave a comment and subscribe on your way out. It means the whole world to us. We'll talk to you guys soon, 
Have a great rest of your week.